that is the time where your hair and your scalp is going to receive the most amount of moisture. So on super excited for this video you are new to my channel welcome to my channel i'm so glad you are here i'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creative curly chemistry well i hope you guys understand products and ingredients from a cosmetic chemist perspective and also if you guys start hair care lines as well and today we are talking about scalp oiling and if you haven't noticed scalp health is trending it is a thing it is big and it ain't going nowhere okay and there are three main reasons why you would be potentially oiling your scalp and i'm going to be sharing what to do when to do it how to do it based off of these three purposes of scalp oiling and red flags to be mindful of when you are oiling your scalp okay so stay tuned okay so the first part of scalp oiling first of all i want you guys to start seeing scalp oiling as an umbrella and there are three main reasons why you would be scalp oiling the first reason is oiling for growth and of course the purpose of this is you are using an oil to simulate hair growth on your scalp this can be an oil or it can be a water-based serum as well now most formulations are going to be oil-based containing the majority of that formula being a carrier oil uh, it could be a blend of them almond oil, sweet almond, sunflower, avocado, and then there will be the hair growth actives. I talk a lot about this when I do my consultations for those one star hair care lines, but there are hair growth actives and typically those are gonna be like your peppermint, your rosemary, your lavender, those type of essential oils that are known for circulating or promoting blood flow to the scalp to promote hair growth. And on the flip side, it can be actual herbs like fenugreek and horsetail and chevy powder. Now, how do you effectively oil your scalp for hair growth? Now, personally, I think you should always do it on a clean, exfoliated scalp, ideally, because that's when the scalp can receive all of those nutrients and those essential oils and the herbs easily now of course we're not washing our hair every day so every day our hair is not going to be super super clean and super super exfoliated which is okay but you don't really want to put hair growth oil on top of a scalp that's dirty like dirty dirty with a ton of buildup but that would be the best time especially the night of your wash day take advantage of any type of scalp treatments especially on a fresh clean scalp now as far as how often to do this if you have an actual like product from a store, follow the directions. Of course, if that's like three to four times a week, stick with that. If it's a DIY product at home, I would say three to four weeks as well, but just kind of play it by ear since it is a DIY product. Okay, the second part of scalp oiling as a whole would be oiling to either prevent or treat an itchy scalp. Now, of course, the purpose or behind this is you're gonna use usually either an oil-based product or a water-based serum. Personally, I think a lot of itchy scalps are due to dryness. I talk a ton about the Pattern Beauty Scalp Serum because it is very hydrating and it has peppermint in it as well, which is great for soothing an itchy scalp. On the flip side, you can also use an oil-based formula with like tea tree oil and peppermint oil. I mean, those alone are great for treating an itchy scalp pretty much instantly. Now, how do you want to do this? So, in the case of a dry scalp or an itchy scalp caused by dryness, you really want to take advantage of your wash day. You guys have heard me talk about this all the time. Your wash day is like your moisture max max day <laughs> your moisture max day because that is the time where your hair and your scalp is going to receive the most amount of moisture so when you get out of the scalp when you get out the scalp when you get out the shower and your scalp is like wet oil your scalp up okay oil 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 your scalp take advantage of all that moisture and pretty much that will help tremendously with soothing an itchy scalp and giving you a more moisturized scalp, taking away that dryness. Okay, and last but not least, the third part of scalp oiling is oiling for moisture retention. Now this is going to include your scalp and your hair as well because our scalp and our hair needs that moisture retention. Now the purpose of this, of course, is to reduce dryness, which will then reduce breakage, which will then give you healthy hair and longer hair because you're retaining your length and nobody wants dry hair now what is it typically this is going to be your basic oil blend 
grape seed, almond, avocado, olive oil. It can be a re it can be one oil. It can be a blend of oils, but it's going to be mainly carrier oils. Not essential oils really are going to be in here because essential oils, in my opinion, are more so for the scalp than the hair itself. So you want to use things like these, like these type of oils for locking in that moisture. Now, how do you do this? You guys know, after you moisturize your hair, whether that's with a liquid moisturizer or a creamy base moisturizer, next step is seal it in with that oil okay it can be a light oil a heavy oil whatever works best for your hair but that's one step you do not want to skip because water loves to evaporate off of our hair hence the reason why sometimes you guys put a moisturizer on and then like a few hours later it feels like nothing's on your hair more than likely it's either because that moisture was not locked in properly or that moisturizer is just not a good moisturizer for your hair and hey it happens and that's that you know so that would be that now how often you want to do this is really going to be based off of your moisture cycle and since everyone's cycle is different it just depends on your hair you guys know i have a two-day moisture cycle so every two days i'm doing this oiling moisture retention method for some of you guys it's every day for some of y'all it may be every four days but whatever that day is be consistent with it and you are going to see a difference in your hair okay now when it comes to red flags here are a few things i will say number one you never want to put any type of oil on your scalp if you have an open wound on the scalp you know you just want to be very careful of any open wounds and i say that because sometimes if your scalp is super itchy you can break the skin so you want to be very careful with that number one uh, number two when you are applying oil on your scalp or even the serum you know you don't have to be super heavy-handed with it a light application will suffice and still be very effective you don't want to be too too heavy because of course that can be very like because no one wants grease or oil coming down their face because that's not cute. And then the last thing I will say is consistency, which isn't really a red flag, it's more of a tip, but lack of consistency is a red flag. So just be consistent with whatever you're doing, whether that's to improve an itchy scalp, improve the dryness, or just to improve the growth of your hair. Consistency, as you guys know, is key. All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this quick video on scalp oiling. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like this video and to join the Curly Chemistry community. All you have to do is subscribe. Make sure notifications are on so you can stay in the loop for more Curly Chemistry content. And of course, I have a question for you. What is your absolute favorite oil or product or serum that you love for your scalp? Whatever that thing is, comment below, let us know, and I cannot wait on the conversation with you. If you're interested in learning more about ingredients in your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective, definitely check out the resources I created just for you. The Curly Girls Got to Hair Care Ingredients and the Natural Hair Care with some flashcards. I have a link below for you and a promo code to check out. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.